All right, my dears, not any new information in this video, uh, in this lesson, just another chance to practice volume in some different ways. Couple of things to remember. Read carefully, because there are some ones where it'll give you three numbers, but not necessarily the numbers you're expecting. And it can also be helpful to draw pictures if you need to, okay? Nothing wrong with that. It can help visualize what's going on. So, this is one of the problems. A rectangular prism has a length of eight centimeters, a width of four centimeters, and a volume of 64. What is the height? So this is an example where they're not giving you the length, width, and height like you might expect. This is probably not going to be at all to scale, but it can give us an idea to help us picture it. So we have length of 8, width of 4, and we don't know the height, but we do know the volume. So think, how do we usually find um, volume? We do length times width times our height, which is a mystery, equals 64. Well, I know 8 times 4 is 32, so I know it's 32 times something equals 64. So now I can either guess and check, I might know, or I can do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. I could do 64 divided by 32 to get my answer. Regardless of how I figure out that missing height, you'll figure out that it is 2 centimeters. If I want to check, I could do 8 times 4 times 2. Make sure I get 64. If I did something weird, it won't work out, and then I'll have to find a different one. Okay? So I read carefully. I noticed they didn't tell me length with height. They did. One of the numbers was the volume. I drew a picture to help myself visualize. And then I thought about how I solved it, how I solved for volume. It's not going to be the same process every time, but think about what are they giving you? What do you know? What can you try? All right, find the volume of the cube, but they only gave me one number. What do I do? Well, we think about what we know about cubes. We know cubes, all the faces are squares, right? So we know... If this is a square and this is 3, we know this bottom is also going to be 3. And if that's 3, this is also a square, so we know this is going to be 3. All the edges are the same length on a cube, so if it tells me 1, I know them all. I still only use 3, so 3 times 3 times 3, well 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, so 27 cubic centimeters is the volume of that cube. If I was going to build it, that's how many little cubes it would take me to build it. If I was going to fill it up with water, that's how much water it would take, etc., etc., because that's what volume is. On the task cards, there's a variety of different types of problems. There's some pictures, there's some words. Let me know if you get stuck on any of the different types. Remember, you can use a calculator just like this whole unit. Good luck.